Okay, uh, I'm going to show you how to set up an edge finder. An edge finder uh, is actually like a wiggler. This diameter is 200 thousandths, half diameter of 200 thousandths, 100. Once we touch off of this edge right here, then I'm going to move over half the diameter of our pin. To start this, we can switch it from machine to own. We want it wobbling. Bring the table up and speed it up just a little bit. And turn it until the pin stops wiggling. And as soon as it offsets just a little, there. We're right on the edge of that part now. Like I said, the diameter of the pin is 200 thousandths. So if I lock this axis, and if I set this at 100 thousandths and unlock it now whenever I take it to zero, I'm right on the edge of this surface. Now if I wanted to, I could, I could label, I could mark this surface right here with a pencil, since I'm already on zero, move this out of the way, come in with my y-axis, and do the same thing I did in my x-axis. Touch off again. As soon as it straightens up, it'll kick off to the edge there. Stop the machine, drop the table, lock this axis, set it on 100. And now when I set this to zero, half of our diameter of our pin is on, half of it's off. Now all I have to do is get back to my x-axis point, line up my pencil mark until I get on my zero. And there bottom left corner, X and Y. Now there's another way of doing it on this machine over here. We have it set up with a three quarter inch diameter cutter. Half of three quarter is three eighths. So I'm gonna bring this down, turn the machine on. Now this way, you wanna be really careful not to stick your finger on the cutter, of course. Bring this piece of paper along this edge and once it gets really close to it, it's going to pull a paper through the edge. There. Drop the table down. We're going to bring the quill up out of the way. Let's lock this axis. We'll set this one on zero. And like I said, half the diameter of that three quarter is three eighths. And three eighths is 375 thousandths. One revolution is 200 plus one is three. 350, 60, 75. Now, half of my cutter is on and half of my cutter is off. So now the center of the spindle is along the edge of this part. If you want to do it in your wax, you do the same things we did on the uh, with the edge finder on the first milling machine. And that's it.